Hey folks, welcome back to Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. Today, we have a very special IFAC to tear into. This is from East Tennessee Preparedness. He sent me this one. Um, it's kind of his prototype-ish. These things are just hitting the market now. And uh, we're gonna get first crack at a review on this. So stick with me, folks. IFAC review. So first impressions of this thing, um, I love the way it looks. Um, I like everything on the outside. I like the tethering. I like everything about it. There is multiple mounting options to this thing. Um, we're gonna take this inside and tear into it. Come on, let's go. So I guess the best way to go about this is start with everything on the outside and then we'll move on to uh, the guts of this thing. Again, I love the way this thing looks. I love the multiple carrying options. Um, on the walk in here, the one thing I saw that I didn't really love, and it may just be because it's still wrapped, um, this guy does a little flopping around. I would like to see that maybe secured a little bit better, um, but that's the only gripe I have as of now. Um, so right here on the outside, we have a cat. What What is the generation of this sucker? It's got everything right here. A rhino rescue. Uh, I believe this is a cat tourniquet, right? It's a rhino tourniquet rescue. Yeah, this is a, this is a regular old cat tourniquet right there from Rhino Rescue. We'll test this thing out and see how well it does. Um, you've got a Sharpie, because you're gonna need a Sharpie if you're gonna tourniquet somebody, you gotta write the time, you know, right on their forehead. Write the time, gotta have a Sharpie. You need light, you have to be able to see. So there's a chem light included. There's a pair of shears tucked away in here. These are nice shears. Um, you never know when you're gonna have to cut away somebody's clothing. So a good pair of shears, something you're gonna need. And there is a, it looks like a compression bandage here on the outside. Um, awesome. Awesome. Um, again, my concern with this being on the outside is when you're in the brush and things like that, this could get punctured. So maybe an extra layer of protection over these somehow, uh, maybe just a cover form. But this thing has really slimmed down with all that stuff off of the outside. So let's get into the guts of this thing and see what it really is inside. And how do we, there we go. We got it unpackaged. Perfect. Perfect. It's just a nice little sleeve that everything fits in. Very well made, might I add. Uh, the mace, mace clips, I believe they're called. Um, lots of uh, shock cord, uh, some sleeves, very well stitched, very well put together. This is uh, incredibly well made. Some laser cut molly webbing. And this little guy, this is your whole entire kit right here. This is it. Um, and it's got, these are grippy guys these are like super super grippy um it's not the same fabric and it's it's pretty heavy duty let's unroll this sucker and see what uh oh that's pretty neat it's pretty neat shock cord goes right through there and locks it up oh look how organized that is that's awesome very cool i was not expecting this so you've got some tape you've got some more tape you never have enough tape all right another uh compression bandage yeah, this is like an Israeli bandage. That's awesome. You've got the uh, the tape, you know, the form tape that grabs and doesn't really stick. Two rolls of form tape in there. Uh, and then there's a whole, oh, this like buttons down. Very cool. Oh, look how organized this thing is. This is awesome. A little emergency kit, alcohol prep pads, a whistle, another Sharpie, a good pair of tweezers. That's a really good pair of tweezers. We got alcohol prep pads, emergency blanket, got to have those. Emergency blanket, we've got triangular bandage. Those are super important to have in your first aid kit. Disposable gloves, fantastic. These are, huh, it's not marked. It's not marked on there what size they are or if they're latex. They look like latex gloves. I would assume they were latex unless otherwise specified. Um, let's see, we got adhesive wound dressings, two of those guys. Actually, no, four of those guys. No, it's more than that. There's five of them here. Five adhesive wound dressings. Good to have. Burn shield. In case you get burned. We got a nasal pharyngeal airway. Um, if you don't know how to use this, don't. Don't. Get quality training. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got some bleed stop. 
This is the um, the coagulant. Keep you going, stop you from bleeding out. We've got vented chest seals. Wow, this is quite the kit. This is quite the kit. There is a lot in here. Chest seals, and we've got ab pad, combined ab pad. Um, and very, very well put together. I mean, this thing is super lightweight. Um, it's everything that you need. And really nothing you don't. I mean, this is this is really well thought out, East Tennessee. This is this is a very, very quality kit right here. Um, awesome job, my friend. Awesome, awesome. The only thing that I have reservations about is this is not a North American rescue tourniquet, and I've heard some stories, so if you don't mind, I'd like to test it out. You know, see if it see if it works good. Um, I, one thing about a tourniquet, guys, you never leave them in the plastic like this. To open this with um, wet hands is just about impossible. To get into any kind of plastic wrap with wet hands and gloves on, it's a nightmare. I learned that at the uh, the med class. And you see how this thing is kind of all flopping around and, and not really ready to go. I mean, you're not going to fit anything in there. When you stage a tourniquet. You open it all the way up, as big as it can be. There you go. Now it's staged and ready to go, right? Big windlass here. Good to go. Now it's staged. So now if I have to put that over my big leg, I can hoop it on there real quick, crank it down, and make sure it works. Um, let's see if this one works. This is, uh, let's see how fast I can do it. Get it up the arm, crank it in there, crank it down. Bring it around. Travis is yelling at me, faster, faster, faster. That's not good enough. Got to get it around a little better. There we go. Got to crank down. And then we turn the windlass. One. Oh, man, this one turns fast. Two. Oh, there it is. There it is. It didn't break. Didn't break that's good I would give it a whole nother turn if this was uh, somebody actually bleeding they would get another turn but yeah I've got I've got no pulse below my veins are poking out I'm starting to sweat I'm gonna let this thing out slowly um, okay whoo getting the pins and needles back it works it works I am impressed um, I like the color of it it functions it didn't fail on me um, it looks really heavy duty you know, it's not a North American rescue, but it's not bad. It's not bad. This is a, a Rhino rescue from uh, the Rhino Rescue Store. Looks like a quality piece of gear. I would, I would buy one all on its own. Um, East Tennessee, man, what an awesome kit you've put together here. Um, I believe the price point for this kit is uh, $175. And this is like one of a kind. There's, there's no other kits I've ever seen like this one um the way it's put together the sleeve and everything compressed in there uh well done my friend very well done everything is is quality built good shock cord good stitching um it just velcros so you can get the things in and out of there easier this side is sealed right up and buttons closed easy 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 I love it, East Tennessee. This is an awesome kit. If you guys are looking for an IFAC and you're looking for something a little different, check out East Tennessee Preparedness right here on YouTube. He has these for sale. You can get one of your own right now. Um, the other ones are a little cooler. This one's OD Green. I have seen them in uh, multicam. I've seen them in regular camouflage. Um, I've seen them in the green. I've seen them in the tan. I don't know how many color options he has available, but I know he has some available. And if you want one, go check out East Tennessee Preparedness. Um, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. It's awesome. I give it a thumbs up. Um, small critiques, nothing big. Um, these are a home run, guys. I, I think he's really knocked it out of the park with these. So uh, check him out. East Tennessee Preparedness. And uh, I'm going to leave all this stuff here for the Livingston Man to put back together. Hudson Valley Prepping Survival. And we're out of here.